Hi, this is Julie Wolf, Skype Coach with a Seek and Send broadcast to your Skype lists tutorial video. With Seek and Send, when you first open it, you're usually on the search page where you can seek Skype IDs on the internet with keywords by searching in here, and they have a lot of suggestions in here we want to know how to send so we're going to look for this tab right here message to users to send to a Skype list you go to the users pull down menu and choose by list if you want to send to all users you can do that offline online or checked users if you choose checked users you can check or uncheck the ones that you want to send to or you can define your users by putting their Skype username or ID right here. So what I like about Seek and Send is that it is one of the few tools you can actually send a message to a list that you have developed in your Skype. You can see all my lists that I've built within my Skype. Here's the example sales funnel. New friends, follow up, make some note or categorize them, ask permission when they say yes, it's okay to send, that's a permission list. List. So here's all the different Skype lists that I built within my Skype. These same lists are seen here in my Skype under contacts, contact lists in old version 5, you'll find that to say category, not lists contact categories. Um, so you should be building your targeted permission based Skype lists right within your Skype. I can show you how to do that. If you need that tutorial let me know. But basically you find your people. Kimberly, if I put that on unread, she had a birthday today so I right clicked on her and I added her to the I don't know if you can see this. Let me move it down. I added her to the birthday list to send her a happy birthday, a belated happy birthday this month. Manage lists. Can you see that? Belated birthday. So you choose whichever uh, list you want people to be in. You right click, you manage lists, or you add them to contact lists. Uncheck what you don't want them to be in. Okay, so that's how to manage your lists. Um, again, with some tools you can mass add and move people from list to list. You can also find your lists here on your contacts tab. Usually you're looking on the recent tab. On the contacts tab you can change this to either all contacts. That's usually what is that. Or you can go to the contact tab. Here's the favorite area. I haven't dragged anybody in there because I build these lists or categories within my Skype. You could go to this pull down menu next to all and find your Skype list or create your Skype list. Further down at the bottom it says create your Skype lists. I don't know if you'll see it because I don't have the video sized. Let's see if I could get it to show. I don't think you'll see the bottom. The create list is down here at the bottom. Actually, maybe they only have them at the top. Let's see. Yes. I'm not sure you can actually even create. I'm into in uh, 6.14 current Skype. I'm not even seeing create list. Okay, I found it. You can't find it from here, but you can find it from here how to create a contact list. Create new list. You can delete or rename the list also down here at the bottom. So those are Skype lists and you, do, you can broadcast a message to many people at once with Skype Seek and Send from the Message to Users tab and under Users you choose any of these choices I like by list 
and then you choose your list here. Marketers and networkers. And you add your message here. Okay, how's your networking going? <laughs> okay, so birthdays is great because once a year, if you always send everybody a birthday message, you're keeping in touch with all of your contacts once a, at least once a year. A little bit more often than that would be better. Um, so that's again a really good use of your Skype list. This is a list of marketers and networkers. You simply hit send and the message goes out. Here is an example. I did the slash me so it has my name is singing you a belated birthday song. Happy birthday. It has emoticons in it. You can actually copy that right into your Skype. I mean, right into the message tab. And then hit send. That would be to the birthday, belated birthday people. Hit send and a bunch of people get this. Now there isn't a first name tag like there is in Message Magic or XGuy with Seek and Send, at least not yet. And if you need to remove people from a list that you say it's a temporary list like a birthday list, um, you can simply rename the list or delete the list in your Skype. So if I want to delete that list I can delete it after I've sent all those messages and then recreate a new list and start adding today happens to be Kimberly's birthday. So she's the only one in this list because I've just emptied out my birth, my belated birthday list. So with Message Magic you can mass move people from list to list. With Seek and Send you can't. Uh, but still it allows you to broadcast to all these choices including by list and all users. User defined, checked, online, offline. A lot of good choices. Send the message. That's how you do it. That concludes this lesson. I do want to let you know that on the website here, Seek and Send, see, uh, sorry, see you on Skype.com, my membership site, you can gain access to a lot more than just um, than just getting Seek and Send. If you log in, become a member, log in, find the menu items here, find Skype stuff, Skype tools, and then get Seek and Send. Okay, You can read about Seek and Send here. You can get videos that I will add here. You can get a link to all the training videos here. You can join the Seek and Send support Skype room of mine and get trainings sent to you privately from that room. Uh, get Seek and Send here and learn how to become an affiliate. So there's a lot more resources at my Seek and Send page at cuonskype.com under Skype stuff, Skype tools, Seek and Send. I hope that helps. See you on Skype.